the 21st of July, 2025, 12 15 p.m. The port of Hodida erupts in flames. But this isn't the familiar roar of 20 Farad 35 fighter jets. Instead, silent death reigns from above. Fuel tanks explode in massive fireballs. Construction cranes obliterated. Houthi military vessels and infrastructure destroyed. The most shocking part. No jet engine sounds. No radar detection. Just ghosts like Hermes 900 drones. Flying 1,100 miles from Tel Nof Air Base. But why would Israel, owner of the world's most advanced F-35 I stealth fighters, choose outdated drones over cutting-edge warplanes? This wasn't a sudden decision. Israel had been quietly planning this revolution for six months. Ever since Operation Port City in May cost $50 million, yet the Houthis rebuilt everything in just two weeks. The big question, are $100 million fighter jets becoming obsolete? Or is this the perfect marriage between economic warfare and absolute power? Today we'll analyze every detail to understand how this revolution will forever change the way superpowers wage war. Since October 2023, the Houthis have launched over 40 ballistic missiles at Israel, turning the Red Sea into a war zone with more than 100 attacks on commercial shipping. Israel's traditional response. Operation Port City in May. 20 Farad 15 Iram, F-16I Sufa, and F-35I. A Deer aircraft, supported by five Boeing 700 and seven refueling tankers, three G-550 reconnaissance planes, cost per mission, 45 to $50 million. At Nevatim Air Base, Colonel of E. Cohen, an F-35I pilot with 15 years of experience, shares the reality. Every time we fly to Yemen, we need at least six hours of continuous flight time, two mid-air refuelings, and after dropping our bombs, we have to return immediately. We can't stay to observe results or adjust our strikes. The outcome. Houthis rebuild for $500,000. While Israel spends 100 times more. This is when the IDF realized they were losing the economic war. The 19th of July. Intel satellites detected suspicious activity at Hodaida, Iranian containers being unloaded, new radar equipment, C-802 anti-ship missiles, and, critically, Iranian technical experts providing installation guidance. At Tel Aviv's command center, General Tamar Bar faced an economic equation. As he put it, we cannot continue burning $50 million per strike while they rebuild in just two weeks. The harsh reality. F-35 is operate only 2.5 hours without refueling. F-15 is and F-16 is need at least one refueling for the 1,100-mile journey to Yemen. Each refueling risks detection. A typical strike mission. 20 aircraft flying 8 hours. Operating costs alone. $8.2 million, excluding weapons. Preparation time. 48 hours. Time over target, just 15 minutes. Over eight months, Israel spent $400 million on Yemen operations. Houthis spent only $40 million rebuilding. A 1-0 to 1 ratio. Unsustainable. At Tel Nof Air Base, Captain Sarah Levi, one of Israel's first drone pilots, explains the difference. When I fly the F-35, I must maintain 100% focus for eight continuous hours heart racing, high stress, with only one chance to complete the mission. But with the Hermes 900, I control from a safe command center, monitor targets for 12 continuous hours, choose optimal strike timing, and if I miss, I can strike again. Operation Long Braid on the 21st of July, 2025 deployed a completely new force structure. Two Hermes 900 attack drones, one reconnaissance drone, Two Farad 35 is on standby. Revolutionary weapons. Spike NLOS missiles. Fire and forget. With mid-flight target adjustment capability. Cost $200,000 each. 25% cheaper than Delilah missiles. Direct comparison. Fighter jets need 12 to 16 M missiles. Hermes 900 needs only 4. Cost 
45 minus 50 million versus 2.5 million dollars. Both achieve 95% accuracy, but Hermes 900 can return the next day. 6 a.m. Takeoff. Hermes 900 departs Tel Nof silently. Radar signature, small as migrating birds. 12 p.m. Target approach. Reconnaissance drone confirms four priority targets. First, construction cranes rebuilding the port. Second, new fuel tanks from Iran. Third, Houthi military vessels and equipment. Fourth, weapon storage with Iranian technical equipment. 12.15 p.m. Synchronized attack begins. 12.15 p.m. First spike NLOS launches. Construction crane obliterated. Precision. Dead center. 12.17 p.m. Fuel tank explodes. 150 foot flames. Estimated $5 million damage. 12.20 p.m. Final strike. Military vessel destroyed. Weapons Depot detonates. Mission accomplished. The remarkable part. Throughout 20 minutes of attacks, no Houthi radar detected anything. S-300 systems remained silent. They thought these were internal accidents. Immediate results. 70% of port reconstruction capability destroyed. Iranian technical equipment eliminated. Houthi morale completely shattered. The psychological impact was immediate. As one confused Houthi militant was heard saying, how did Israel attack without us knowing? The damage ratio reveals an economic revolution. Israel spent $2.5 million. Houthis lost $15 million. A 1 to 6 ratio. This means, for every dollar Israel spent, Houthis lost $6. A clear economic victory. The first time Israel achieved cost advantage in this conflict. History has witnessed similar revolutions. 1973. Cheap Sagar anti-tank missiles destroyed expensive Israeli M60 tanks. 1982. $40,000 Stinger missiles shot down two $5 million Mi. 24 helicopters in Afghanistan. 2020. $300,000 TB2 drones eliminated one $5 million Pansir S1 systems in Syria. The unchanging rule. Smart, cheap weapons always defeat powerful expensive weapons when used correctly. Hodida 2025 is the latest proof. Israel is just applying this rule on a larger scale. But this isn't complete replacement. General Tomer Bar. Israeli Air Force commander, explains the new strategic philosophy. This isn't competition between drones and manned aircraft, it's perfect coordination. Drones do what drones do best, fighter jets do what fighter jets do best. While Hermes 900 attacked Hodeida, two Farad 35 is patrolled southern Israeli waters, ready to suppress air defenses if needed. Create safe corridors, then withdraw for drones to complete missions. Optimal role division shows. Hermes 900 drones, called the Daily Blade. Perfect for fixed targets, like ports, factories, weapons depots. Long-term surveillance 8 to 24 hours continuously. Precise strikes at low cost in areas with weak air defenses. Fighter jets, called the Precious Sword. F-35, I for heavily defended targets, requiring stealth. F-15 I ROM for distant targets needing 8-ton weapon loads. F-16 I for versatile, high mobility, medium cost missions. Direct air to air combat. High speed mock, 2 plus raid missions. Result. Israel saves 85% costs on fixed targets. F-35 is preserved for critical stealth missions. Hermes 900 handles daily, routine work. Global ripple effects begin. At the Pentagon, General Charles Brown acknowledges, Israel has proven something important, you don't always need F-22 second, or F-35 second. Sometimes MQ-9 Reapers are enough. China accelerates Wing Loom 3 production. Capable of 40-hour continuous flight. 6,200-mile range. Carrying 16 missiles. 
Russia fast-tracks the S-70 Okhotnik project. A loyal wingman, flying alongside Su-57 fighters. Jane's Defense Weekly reports a defense budget revolution. Nations shifting from 70% manned aircraft, S, 30% drones, to 50 to 50 ratios. Projected 40 to 60 by 2030. The economic logic is clear. Training one F-35 pilot requires 10 years, plus $5 million. Training one drone operator needs two years, plus $500,000. More importantly, drones don't fear death. Can execute missions human pilots wouldn't dare attempt. The big question emerges. Will NATO allies, Japan, South Korea, and Australia learn Israel's small but mighty model for optimizing their air forces? The Hodaida attack on the 21st of July, 2025, isn't the end of the fighter jet era, but the beginning of air power optimization. F-35 is, F-15 is, F-16 is remain precious swords. Drawn only when truly necessary, Hermes 900 is the daily blade. Working silently, effectively, economically. The future of modern air power. Isn't drones replacing fighter jets, but perfect integration between artificial intelligence and human experience. Between cost effectiveness and absolute power. What we witnessed at Ho Data represents more than tactical innovation. It's the blueprint for how smaller nations can compete with superpowers through smart technology choices. The age of bigger is always better in military spending may finally be coming to an end. Final question for you. Do you think drones can completely replace fighter jets? Or do we need a 50 to 50 balance? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Battlezone Military Ops for more cutting-edge military analysis.